Hi everybody, I'm Grace Wyckoff. I'm the project manager here at HFI, and I'm also a recent grad from DeSales University's film program. I know how challenging it can be when directing your first short film, so here are 10 things I wish I knew when I was first starting out. Preparation is key. Know your script inside and out. You want to communicate that to your creative team through storyboards and shot lists, and rehearse with all of your actors before the shoot. Build strong relationships with your cast and crew and foster open communication. Be receptive to ideas from your team. Filmmaking is a collaborative process. My experience in film is mostly doing dance films, so I work a lot with choreographers who might not always understand the film world, but that variety of perspectives makes the final product even better. Lead with confidence. Stay calm under pressure and maintain a positive attitude so you can clearly communicate your expectations. I think also the balance of having confidence in your decisions that you make creatively and planning ahead of time, but also being ready to be okay if somebody else has a better idea because you chose this cinematographer, gaffer, AD for a reason and trusting their creative decisions, trusting that they also want the film to be good, trusting that they have something positive to add, I think can really help with ha be, having your first film be a full learning experience. Manage your time effectively. Create a realistic shooting schedule and stick to it as closely as possible so everyone knows what to expect and you can be on time and on budget. But it's also important to be adaptable and ready to adjust the plan whenever necessary. I've also worked as an assistant director, so I understand how important it is to build a strong relationship prior to set. I think being on both sides of it, I have a unique perspective and I also understand how important that relationship is between your director and your AD. And also as a director, understanding that they've probably given you as much time as you possibly could have because they want the film to be good too. Um, so trusting them, listening to them, and building a strong relationship ahead of time is, is really important. Understand the technical aspect of filmmaking. Familiarize yourself with camera angles, lighting, and sound prior to the shoot so you can effectively communicate with all of your creative leads. One of the best pieces of advice I got was find a mentor that has been there for a long time early. And I did that and I feel really lucky to have done that. You are gonna learn from the upperclassmen so much more than anything you're gonna learn in class because that's where you're actually hands-on on set doing the things. And they're willing to help you too. Like it's a, it's a two-way street. If you're willing to help them, they're willing to help you. So start working on projects early and often. It's finding the balance between encouraging creativity and giving clear and constructive feedback. So I usually don't do just traditional narrative films with dialogue. I like to do stuff that's really different. Um, and a lot of my process with that, because you know there's not dialogue to drive the story most of the time, is developing a whole person within a character. So taking the script and fleshing out backstory, family, likes and dislikes, everything that you could think about this character so they're multi-dimensional, they're a whole person, and giving that to the actor and really letting the actor run with it and just see what they do because they're the one, you know, really bringing the person to life and you're just giving them the guidance of like who the person is. Every detail in the frame matters, so make sure it all aligns with your vision and be mindful of continuity throughout the entirety of the shoot. Something I think is really important is something that one of my professors said to my class freshman year, and it was that your film is never gonna be done, it's just gonna be put down. So it's okay if it's not perfect, that just means that you're learning, that just means that you're growing, and your first film is a learning experience first and foremost. So be proud of what you did and take what you learned and take it to your next film. Clearly articulate your ideas to your cast and crew. Regularly check in with all of your department heads to make sure everyone's on the same page. So I came into film school with like no experience in film. So it's very easy to compare yourself to everybody who's been doing this for years, but you can't do that. All you can do is be better than the film you made before and learn from the people around you. So you always wanna to try to be better than yourself and learn from the people around you. Don't compete with them. Take care of yourself. Filmmaking can be demanding. So be mindful of your physical and mental well-being throughout the shoot. Thanks for watching, good luck with your film and follow us for more filmmaking tips.